Okay, so we've got the whipper snapper scarf here, and I'm showing you the completed end of what I'm calling the uh, crochet chain knitting. And what that is, is um, I don't know if it has an official name or not, or if this goes by another name or what to even call it. I just came up with it because what I've done is taken crochet chains, as you can see right here, and worked them up as if they've been knitted, to look as if they've been knitted rather, and really they haven't. Um, so what I'm going to do is turn around to the other end and show you how that is worked up, because I thought the uh, written explanation could use a little help from a video explanation. So I've got my uh, first six stitches after the corner made here in round nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then they, these are the three chains that we've made in round three, round four, and round five. And I just take my hook out. And actually, you can work this up beforehand. You don't have to wait until you get to round nine to do this. Um, and it should more or less hold its place while you continue round six, seven, and eight, and nine until you can get back to it. But I just waited until now to show you. So what you do is you take your hook and insert it below the chain from round three, pick up the chain from round four, and pull it behind and pull it behind and underneath and to the front. And then do the same thing with the chain from round five, pulling it through this loop you've now created with the chain from round four. Pull it to the front. Pull it up snug so that everybody is all the way pulled up. And that's really all there is to that. Um, so I take my hook back into the working yarn. And I want to point out these four stitches right here one, two, three, and four that are behind this uh, crochet chain knitting. So the first stitch we're going to skip because we make a spike stitch decrease, which counts as one stitch. And we work that spike stitch into the skipped stitches below. So here's where we secure the crochet chain knitting to the rest of the work. You insert your hook into that chain loop of round five and also the next stitch of these four behind it. Make a single crochet. Insert it again into that chain five loop from round five. I think it's a chain five, pretty sure. Uh, and also into the next stitch of the four behind it single crochet. So I'm going to take my hook out and show you that essentially what you've done is you've made an increase into this chain loop here while at the same time making one stitch into each of these center two stitches of the four behind it and tied them together. So now to uh, frame it on the other side we're going to do another spike stitch decrease into these skipped stitches below. And that's how it's done. The next six stitches, I'll work those. All right. So that's the uh, crochet chain knitting. So that's not really how you knit, um, but that is how you fix a run in knitting, um, if you know what that is. And so basically each of these chains is acting as if it's a strand of yarn in knitting. And so that's how I came up with the name crochet chain knitting. Um, but like I said, I don't know if it's called that or if it's even called anything. That's just what I call it and how I came up with it, and that's how you do it. Alright, hope that's helpful.